Hello, welcome back. Today I'm doing a review of my Asani 3D printer. Uh, sadly, because I was in the testing phase, uh, also this video is not sponsored, which you should be able to tell by my uh, subscriber count as of filming. Um, but anyways, jokes aside, it's an Asani, I believe, Tina 2 3D printer. Um, I don't ha have any footage of it working because when I was testing it, I was testing it for like a week, a, a week or a month after I got it. I did a bunch of test prints. I maybe did 10 in total. And then I was going to start printing stuff to actually make for projects in the shop when this crapped out. Um, it still prints, but it looks like a cobweb. It doesn't, I, either it's not getting hot enough to where it melts it all the way, or it's getting too hot and melting it too much, but it will start printing what it's supposed to print and then just get all stringy. And it's like all, it's like a mesh object. Um, I tried printing like a dragon. It was squishy because it was, it wasn't stuck together probably. It was like mesh. Um, one of my favorite prints I actually have in the shop with me. This little 3D printed vise I made. I have not used it for anything, but it's it's just like a little in case I need to hold something fragile. <clears throat> I was gonna print a bunch of these in different sizes. I was gonna make it like a little small one that was probably this big. Um, this is my favorite thing I printed. The build plate's not very big, but it wasn't for very big projects. I've had it since August. It has not worked since the end of August. And I tried to refund it through the Amazon buyer, or not refund it, get it replaced or whatever. And I bought a three year protection on it. They basically told me to try to fix it myself and quit responding to my messages. So, and Amazon won't do anything. I tried contacting Amazon, but they won't, they were like, contact the person and we'll, and then I tried using the protection plan. They said, they'll get back to me in like three weeks, I think they said. Uh, I'm filming this April, April 13th. They have not messaged me once since then. So I paid like 200 bucks for a piece of crap. And the annoying thing is I found a better, more reliable 3D printer company that is only like a hundred bucks more than this right after this broke. I liked it when it worked. It worked It worked pretty quick. Uh, you could. I also messed around settings because you can change settings to make it print faster. You can make it print slower. Um, but something's wrong with it to where it just, I, there was an issue that I was able to fix. I don't know, I don't remember how, um, but the nozzle where it would eject the, plastic for some reason it was just coming out little strands and coming and like forming a mesh ball around it and wouldn't print nothing it would put the first layer down on the plate and then just have a wad stuck to it and it would just fall off and there'd be clumps on the side of it uh i realized that uh one night i set something to print it was going to take like 12 hours i get up just a base layer and a giant clump of mesh and all my plastic used for it so I would not recommend buying the ASUN, or whatever I called it at the beginning, Tina 2. I would not recommend buying any of their products. So there you go, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.